All right, David Harry here. And in this video, which looks like I've got two tribbles and a GoPro to play with, which isn't the case, I'm going to be testing the differences between an omnidirectional video mic and a cardioid video mic. And in this instance, the omnidirectional is my recently modified Rode Video Micro Omni, where I just took the cardioid capsule out of a Rode Video Micro and put an omnidirectional capsule into it. And then the other microphone on this rig is also a standard Rode Video Micro. So I've got like two kind of like of the exact type setups that I can use as far as like the bodies of the microphones are concerned, the shock mounts, and obviously also the tribbles, um, which will then kind of help me to kind of like have two things which are as similar as possible, but just one's got an omnidirectional capsule in, and then the other one has got a cardioid capsule in. And what I'm doing, I'm using a little stereo bar. Let's see if I can get this a bit closer, actually. Right, so as we can maybe hopefully see here, I don't know if it's going to focus properly, but I've got a stereo bar on the back here. Then I've got my offset bracket here, and that's just connected to the media mod. Then as we can see, there's a bunch of cabling at the back here to connect this all into the media mod. Let me just try and give you some more some more of an idea of what's going on here. Like I say, I, I can't tell if this is focusing properly. I can't see me monitor properly. But you'll just get an idea of what's going on there. Anyway, so yeah, what this has allowed me to do is to record both of the microphones at the same time. And then what I'm going to do is just cut between them as the video goes through. Now, I'm also going to do this as a blind AB microphone test as well, whereby I won't tell you what they are as the video plays through. But when I do my summary at the end, I'll let you know, you know, what was what at the end. Although there's probably going to be parts of this video which will kind of like, you know, you'll probably guess before it's over which is which anyway. Now, quickly as well. All I've done here is I've got the levels and I've balanced them as best as possible in post. There is no EQ on them and there is no limiting. All I've done is raise them in post for as loud as I can get them until I kind of get just below zero dB with the weakest sound on one. And then I bring the other one up and kind of balance it against it. Now, what you're probably going to hear and don't mistake it for one's louder than the other because they're not. What it is, one of them will have more energy levels in it. So it may appear to be a bit louder, but on the VU meters, both of them are really healthy and stuff. It's just that with like, you know, microphones of different types, it's very difficult to try and balance between them because they are completely different sounding and these are completely different sounding. So the thing is, I've just kind of gone for their average peak level and stuff like that. So kind of bear that in mind, there is absolutely nothing added to these. Now also as well, as anyone will know, the GoPro applies AGC, so yeah, we are gonna we are gonna be kind of subject to that a little bit. But I thought I would use the GoPro only because it is something that you know other people are gonna gonna have, and that this would actually apply for the five, six, seven, or eight, depending upon if you're gonna use the media mod with the eight or the original GoPro Pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter with the eight, seven, six, or five. So like I say, something like this is reproducible for other people. And you know, the, the AGC thing shouldn't really get in the way that much anyways. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get off into this test anyway, now that you know all the basics of it, and then I'll come back and do a bit of a summary at the end. So for the first part of the testing, what I'm gonna do is walk up through this bridle path at the side of the park. Now the reason for that is, is because there's a wall on one side here which will definitely give reflections and stuff. So, you know, omnis and cardioids will respond differently to the reflections that you're going to get, you know, from walls that are surrounding you. Also, we've got a bird singing its head off a bit there as well. So, again, more kind of environmental stuff that can give us ideas as to you know, which is Omni and which is Cardioid. But don't forget, and I will reiterate this point probably a couple of times, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying there are differences between them tonally and also how they respond to the different types of environments and stuff. Now, the other thing here, um, at any one time, <laughs> I've got between four to five variations of the Rode Video Micro. I actually own, I think, five. Um, and I use them 
uh, in different configurations and use them with like different like capsules in and stuff like that <laughs> what it is um well <laughs> I'm a massive road fan for a start, I'm a fanboy, hence the fanboy jacket which I think I should wear when I do anything to do with road microphones and uh, just as a, another big thank you to Damien uh, but yeah, the the thing is, the reason why I've got five road mi video micros is just simply because they are the best small video microphone you can get and even if, you know people may not agree with me that they're a great tone I mean I think they're a great tone because naturally the cardioid capsule of the uh, the video micro is naturally curtailing bass end which some people may go yeah but it's not as bassy well the thing with that when you're around noisy 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 things such as traffic and such those bass end frequencies which the micro kind of like self attenuates almost is really good to help your dialogue to come through but the microphone itself is built like a tank and um, it comes with an amazing dead cat and then on top of that the ladder shock mount and in the uk you get one of these packages for less than 40 quid so it's just insane value for money so that's why i have so many of them because whether I'm using them as like, you know, standard micros or whether I'm using them in some of my self builds, they are a fantastic physical microphone. So that's the reason why I've got five of them. And I think on that point as well, um, I've been experimenting recently with, um, let's see, like, you know, uh, phase aligned XY configurations for two cardioids. And also I've been doing um, ORTF configured stereo as well with the two cardioids. Also, um, two Omnis, which are basically given almost a binaural response. It's amazing. So if anyone's interested in that stuff, let us know. And I'll show some of my results and my recordings of that stuff. Anyway, I'm going to shoot off somewhere else at the park now. All right, so I've come to one of the top fields in the park here. And I'll just stand still and do this bit. Uh, what it is, I've had to take my glasses off as well because it has just started raining a little bit and I was getting rain on my glasses hopefully there's none getting on the lens here on the gopro anyways yeah so standing still here there's less distraction of me walking and stuff so i don't know maybe we can hear things a little clearer not too sure but i'll do this anyway and probably the main reason why i want to do this is because anytime i go walking i don't pace myself properly and then i start getting like out of breath and really knackered and stuff I think it's age and being unhealthy and things like that so yeah I'll take this little little bit of a break to stand still and carry on doing the alternating between the two microphones anyways yet yeah, so you know where a walk just before was a type of environment with a certain type of reflective quality to it where I am right now isn't really so much that and the reason why is because it's fairly much like got no solid objects around me to reflect things back off. There's a lot of trees and stuff. Now the thing with trees, you know, bushy, bushy plants and trees will help absorb sound. But trees themselves is, will also absorb, but they'll also reflect because it's like, you know, hard woods and stuff like that. I mean, in fact, you know, if anyone out there is into like, you know, studio recording, quite often, you'll get you'll get like very specific environmental rooms in a studio maybe one built with stone or slate walls and ceilings and then another one with the same with wood and the reason for that is because they both give certain different types of reflective qualities and you know you know big top class studios will tend to have physical environments built into them into smaller kind of like smaller recording rooms and stuff as well as having a dead room and like you know a main live room and stuff Anyways, yeah, so right now we're kind of, I think we're giving them both the microphones their best chances to shine as it were. And while I'm here, I'm also just show you this as well. I don't know how well the GoPro is going to pick this up, but this is um, one of these modifications that I'm doing. So basically what this is, in fact, do you know what I'll do? When this video goes up, I'll put up a prelim for this. Um, let's say, actually it's not even a prelim, what it is, it's one of my own personal tests, but I'll put it up and I'll explain what the test is. Basically, I'm trying to build like a blimp system for the uh, the dead cat for the micros. So inside here is actually a ball. It's basically the end of another microphone. You know, like a typical SM58 type ball at the end. I've managed to get it all in there. 
and I've also managed to come up with a way of sealing the mic into it as well so I can get it so there's no air going in the back and it creates a bit of dead space inside it so yeah just you can't really see it that well because it's all hidden inside but you might be able to just see there the little plastic rim thing that I'm using to sort the mic into the back anyways I think this will probably about do it here and like I say this one may well have been the better one for us to get a really better idea as to tonal qualities and stuff so what I'm gonna do now before I get off in and do like my little summary I'm gonna go to the like the road right road 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 yeah uh, I'm gonna go to the road and I will do something there now the thing with that is you're definitely going to guess which one it is before I reveal it when you know at the end when I go back indoors so anyway off to the busy noisy environment and then I'll shoot off indoors and do my little summary actually before I get off up to the busy environment by the road what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn the rig round and record some silence away from me point the microphones in the opposite direction and let's have a listen to see if we can hear anything kind of significant with noise levels or just in general what they sound like when we're just listening or pointing them into the rest of the park. So for this test in the noisier environment, shall we say, by the traffic and such, I'm just going to take a walk for a little bit. Um, I won't do my cardioid test until I get to the junction of all this like traffic here and it will give it a proper good cardioid test. But the thing is, right now, there's a fair old chance that people have kind of got it already. Um, and that's obviously because one of these microphones is going to be picking up the ambient sound a lot more now don't forget you know this isn't a, a test to say one's better than the other it's just a test to show you the comparison between omnidirectional and cardioid and you know the type of tone you'd be expecting to get from either but also give you a really good idea as to like the ways and whens where you would want to use either an omni or a cardioid microphone so that's the main reason for this test. It's not to say one's better than the other. It's just to show the differences. So let me get here and do my little cardioid turn. Okay, so basically the traffic is all right behind the microphones there, right on this junction. And there's gonna be traffic going all four ways here. So we're definitely gonna be catching something or another as it's doing this. So what I'm gonna do is turn it to 90 degrees to one side off axis. So I'm now at 90 degrees, one side, off axis. And once again, I think we're gonna get this one straight away because, yeah, you know, one of them is definitely gonna be picking up more of it than the other, I would imagine. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it 180 degrees off axis. Once again, I'll just keep, you know, cutting between them and we can get a really good idea of exactly what the responses are like between the pair of them. So now what I'll do now, I'll turn it to the other 90 degree axis. So, there's the other 90 degree axis there, just so that we get our full kind of circular cardioid test to do with this. Now what I'm going to do is turn it back to myself. Okay, so back to myself again. Now what I'm going to do is go indoors, I'm going to have a quick listen, and then I'll do a bit of an end summary. Okay, so the reveal then, and it was probably quite obvious. Microphone one was the cardioid and microphone two was the Omni. And like I said from the outset as well, you may have thought that you heard discrepancies in level. You didn't really. What that is, it's the actual energy levels within the recordings. And the thing with that is the Omni will have had more energy in it because it will have been recording more of the bass end. Now the other thing as well here, as they were flipping between one another, especially if you were listening on headphones, you would definitely have heard huge differences. And when you do that between two different microphones, what you may think you've heard is that one may sound dead bassy and then the other one may, may sound dead bright. When in fact, all that is, it's just your brain trying to recompensate between the two of them. If I played you either of these just on one take on their own, in fact, on that point, yeah, 
check me just check all my recent videos because both of them have been used and you'll see there when you when you listen to one mic on its own without it being compared to another your brain kind of tunes in to the sound of it but when you start flipping between them and like you know quite rapidly as well then what's going to happen you will definitely hear distinct differences which sometimes may sound that like i say one might sound too bassy one might sound too bright or something like that but that's not really the case it's just the way our brains deal with trying to equalize or kind of like normalize everything that we hear so they are the main differences that you're probably going to hear through this now the thing is like i'd already said through the video it wasn't a competition i wasn't trying to say one's better than the other it was just basically a way of like you know showing people very clearly what the differences are and in like you know a few different environments anyway there we go then there's not really much else i can say about this other than yeah it was just a very clear test for let you know just to let people know what these things sound like but if you're interested in this stuff definitely check out like you know me most recent videos because i've done a ton of things with this type of stuff recently and you can hear examples of these on their own now also during the video i mentioned that i was putting together or trying to come up with some kind of like mini blimp system for me micros now at the same time this video has gone live i will have put another one up which is basically one of my personal tests that i go through before i end up doing anything to work out if this idea is going to work that may also be of interest to you if you're into all this micro microphone stuff. If you're not, these videos are going to be extremely boring and tedious. Anyways, I'm going to dive off now. But if you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell notification icon and all that foolish jiggery pokery that everyone always asks you to, to do at the end of YouTube videos. Anyhow, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.